Hello and welcome to the next edition of TMO Live, the Media Online's video series where we ask newsmakers the tough questions and explore the hot topics. Today we're going to focus on print. The second quarter ABC numbers measuring circulation in print titles were released at the end of last week and in my view they painted a pretty gloomy picture of the print landscape. Joining me to discuss those numbers, as well as the ABCs in general, is Deborah Skippers, a board member of the Audit Bureau of Circulations of South Africa. Thanks for being here with me. Thank you, Michael. So I've got a brief summary of the numbers here. We've got total newspaper circulation down 1.5%. Mm -hmm. Biggest hit was daily newspapers decreasing four, just under 5%. And the newspapers, they weren't very positive. Magazines were a bit better. Total magazine circulation dropping by just under 1%. Consumer magazines hardest hit down just under 8%. But B2B magazines, custom magazines, and free magazines, they seem to push it back up again. What is your take on the numbers? Is it fair to say that it's a gloomy picture for print at the moment? So, Michael, actually, if you compared those figures to the figures you would have heard in the last ABC release, um, it looks positively rosy. What's happened is for the first time in quarter one, the ABC released um, multi-platform certification. So those figures that you've just referred to are covering print, website, and newsletters. The real picture for print is a lot, lot more gloomy than that. But within that gloomy picture, and it is a, it's a continued downward trajectory and it's a global trend for print, um, within that gloomy picture there are some shining shining opportunities or what look like, it might be too soon to say, but what look like some, um, some great possibilities for content and platforms as opposed to just channels. So the print numbers were saved by the digital and the newsletters, in fact. We'll unpack that. We'll unpack that a bit just now. Okay. But yeah. Let, let's talk about the free versus bought debate. Real experiences, mm -hmm. they show that more and more print titles, even ones that are being sold, mm -hmm. they're giving more copies away for free. How does the, ABC, how does the ABC deal with, those, with the, that situation? So everything is measured. So if you get an ABC report, if you access it online or you can go and get a printed copy, um, at their offices, you'll see that there's a report on core circulation, which is bought at a percentage of cover price, a certain percentage. There's verified free distribution, um, and then there are bulk free copies, which can either be requested by a company or by the bulk entity, or not requested at all. So it is broken down. The thing with the ABCs is you've got to have a bit of a closer look. There's quarter on quarter, which is the most accurate view, a lot of people will sometimes give you a, or sorry, year on year is the most accurate view. A lot of people give you a quarter on quarter view, which isn't really fair. I mean, if you think of what happens in December and January when people are on holiday, um, but you've got to also unpack that because um, because free isn't the same as sport. It doesn't have the same doesn't have the same relevance. Because I was going to say, it's very easy for a publication to increase their circulation just by printing more copies and giving them away for free. Because mm. people are going to take them because they're free. Mm. They don't have to buy them. Look, ultimately, there's a business model there. So yes, it is a problem. But there's a limit to how many copies you can print if you're not selling on cover price. I mean, there's, there's advertising revenue and there's cover price. But they're not necessarily carrying the same weight. OK. Mm. Let's talk about, I'm going to play devil's advocate here now. The establishment mm -hmm. survey is going to be coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. And some people are saying that print measurement, it's being compromised because you have these two measurement systems. You've got the circulation with the ABCs and you've got the establishment survey, which is the readership. Sure. And if I'm an advertiser, I want to know how many people are going to be seeing my ad. So I might choose to go and look at the readership because mm -hmm. that takes into account the pass on readership rather than sure. a single copy for a single person, which the AB, it's implied that's what the ABCs is mm. about. What's your response to that? So, I mean, I think most advertising agencies and planners look at both. We do look at both, and there's some instances, um, good housekeeping's one, where the, um, the trends are move in completely different directions for readership and for circulation. But if you're an advertiser or a brand, yes, you want people to see your ad or see your product, but you also want people, A, that can afford a cover price to see it, so people that can afford your product would afford a cover price, um, and you'd also want people that are truly invested. And, and on that note of truly invested, that's almost, a, it's almost another metric that we need to start looking at in conjunction with circulation. So there are numbers, which is an important currency, but there's also, and it becomes more relevant as digital is measured, their levels and scope of engagement. 
And that gives you a different view of the consumer. You don't just want to reach a person. You want to reach someone that is deeply engaged with and believes in the credibility of the environment in which you're placing the ad. I suppose the central question, as a, dev a devil's advocate, is how relevant is the ABC still? And is it moving with the times with this new establishment survey? And what plans does the, the mm. organization have to keep it relevant? So the answer would be incredibly relevant. Um, I think the answer might have been different a year ago. But with the multi-platform certification, we have a complete view. So if I can unpack some of those numbers a little bit more for you. If you look at, um, at weekend newspapers, you mentioned 3.1% decline. Yes. That's multi-platform. For print, that's a 13.45% decline. Um, for dailies, um, 4.8, but in print terms, a 14.79% decline. So you can see that there's, there's something going on there. It's been propped up by digital. And again, the ABC isn't just about measuring print, it's about measuring platforms and content. So for the first time, now that we have quarter on quarter data, we are seeing some true reflections of what's happening to audiences, where the audiences have been moving to. Um, so for example, if I can give you just a few, Car Magazine, um, quarter on quarter, so quarter two on quarter one, we see declines of 17.8%, but daily UBs on website, so daily traffic, is up by 24.6% suddenly the picture changes of a car magazine. Car magazine has recently um, had, had a, um, a bit of a, a good picture, so perhaps not. Perhaps we should look at another example. Drum magazine, a big circulator, 31.9% year on year. So that's print, which is comparable year on year. We've only got two quarters of digital data, so we can only go back, and it might be slightly unfair, um, given I've just said that sometimes quarter one with holidays um, is a slightly different picture, but quarter two on quarter one, um, daily unique traffic for drum is up by 37.6%. So for the first time, the ABC is giving brands and planners a view of where the audiences are shifting to in gonna, totality. I was going to say, this seems to indicate that print is no longer that important. It's now more about the digital platforms for these publications. So you, you, you are on a gloomy, um, a gloomy picture today for print. Um, Look, the circulations are declining. We're seeing opportunities to engage with the editorial platforms online, but you do see something called the vinyl effect. Um, and in some instances where there are big events um, to this more recently, uh, Brexit and something like David Bowie's death, which was a, obviously a massively culturally impactful in, in the UK, um, you see that people will look to digital for the headline but they'll buy the print issue to really unpack the story. And there, there are hard numbers that, that back that up. So print's still very much relevant in the right context. Print relevant, but the focus for publishers and for advertisers has to be the platform. There was a, um, a conference last month, the Times Media Group hosted the Future of Media event. And there was a lovely, um, a lovely quote there about caviar content, which is what publishers have to start providing, so journalism as opposed to voyeurism. And in fact, um, if I can quote from a presentation from, um, from Jenny Beck, she said, journalism is about printing what people don't want to hear. Everything else is just public relations. And th that's the power of editorial platforms, be they um, coming across in print, in digital newsletters, or on digital platforms. What a, what a brand wants is to be associated with another brand. So important that um, publishers don't lose sight of that, that they are brands in themselves with incredible resonance in the market. That makes them powerful, regardless of platform. So don't write off print. Don't write off print. And um, no, don't write off print, but also have a, have a bigger view of print as just being a platform. Thank you very much for those insights. That was Deborah Skip as a board member of the Audit Bureau of Circulations of South Africa.